Shruti is Sanskrit for that which is heard and refers to the body of most authoritative ancient Vedic texts. It includes the four Vedas, including its four types of embedded texts, the Samhitas, the Brahmanas, the Aranyakas, and the early Upanishads. Shruti is considered the original revealed knowledge which was unveiled to self-realized sages. It was first heard from God and then was heard and passed along in an oral tradition in the association of other sages. In this way, it was protected from being misunderstood or misused. I think a very important point in understanding Hindu traditions, any point about the Hindu traditions, is that the oral part the oral compositions and the transmission from one person to another is extremely important. I think there's a great deal of importance given to just the books by many of the Western scholars and our own scholars. And although books are important, and we did have libraries, in fact, the word Saraswati Bandaram was used to describe library in medieval times, and we did have manuscripts, and our deities, uh, Saraswati, Hayagriva, all of them hold a manuscript in hand. Ours has always remained and survived, and not just survived, but flourished because of the orality and the, and the importance of transmitting it from human being to another. In fact, in Tamil, there's a phrase called oranvari, that is, from one person to another. And this is more important than even the text. Custom and oral tradition are extremely significant and when we say, oh, but it's not in the text, well, they haven't understood the Hindu traditions, they haven't understood Hindus, who have learned largely through the centuries by word of mouth. That's why, in fact, when we hear about the word Shruti, that which the Rishis heard, it's most significant. The Vedas are called Shruti, that which is heard. But the Rishis themselves are called those who see, seers, Rishi is connected with Drishti, to see. So they see the truth, but they received the truth by oral tradition, by hearing it, by oral tradition, and they transmit it orally. So it speaks about a coming together of many different forms of knowledge, which we have passed on. And through this passing of the different kinds of knowledge, the Hindu traditions have survived, flourished, not by sticking to the letter of the law, but by using it in this most, in the larger, more flexible sense. Mm -hmm.